Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to explore the brand new Fire plugin from the folks at Epic Games. This is quite an interesting one and how this works is super easy. Recently, we did talk about Fab, which is a brand new marketplace that unifies most of the marketplace that the folks at Epic Games have purchased over time, which includes Sketchfab, the Quicksell library, Unreal Engine Marketplace, and of course, lots of stuff coming from ArtStation. And this place now makes it super easy for you to start exploring stuff. And one of the cool things that now exists with this is at this time, if you're working with Unreal Engine, you can now bring in your files in. And to get started, it's super simple. Once you've got your Unreal Engine launcher installed, you can simply go ahead and search for Fab within the Fab library. And this is going to start out and get you the Fab UE plugin. You can choose to install this for any of the engines that you've got. And with that done, you can now proceed to start up a project. Now, opening a project file is super easy, as all you need to do is double click on that. And once this is opening, it would require you to give access to Epic Games Engine. So technically, all it's telling you to do is to log into your Epic Games account. And with that done and Unreal Engine opened, you can now go ahead and start exploring Fab. And to work with Fab is very easy. All you need to do is go over to Windows, go all the way down to where you can find Fab. So you'd also notice that we've got the quick sell bridge and also the marketplace. These two are now considered as redundant as Fab plugin now replaces all of them. So with Fab Marketplace open right now, you can now go ahead and start exploring and downloading stuff. And to download anything is to simply type it. In this case, we can type in a car and we can proceed to select any of these cars, add this to project and automatically that will be added to project. And the same thing can happen for so many other things. So you can go ahead, find whatever you want to bring and you can bring them. There's also some very interesting ways of bringing stuff into your project, which I kind of love. So one of them includes clicking and dragging, and this is pretty interesting. So if you find any of the files that you want to bring in, once you hover across the file, you would notice the file types that it supports. Like most of these, especially ones from Quicksell, they are Zebra supported and they do have multiple files. So you can drag, drop in and start playing with this. And this is quite impressive. At the same time, if you're trying to search for stuff, you can proceed to search for stuff and also filter them to your heart content. So maybe you're trying to find 3D assets, you can simply select that. And then you can select what file type specifically that you're looking for that. And you can also select if you want to get them for free. At the same time, you can select the platform that is supported and you can also select the type of engine that these files are supported. And that way you can narrow down the search and get the best of what you're looking for. So this is it for those who are thinking about, you know, working with this brand new stuff, then this is now available. You can go ahead, open up your Epic Games launcher, start exploring it and start working with it. Of course, when this was launched, it did have a whole lot of backlash because Quicksell Bridge was no longer working. And of course the marketplace wasn't working. But at this point with Fab, you can now bring in all of the stuff you've stored within your library right into Unreal Engine with the simple and yet free plugin. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.